Good morning, everyone out there. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you live from Bozeman, Montana. It is July 16th. We are in the middle of July already. It's very hot here in uh, Montana. It's in the 90s. We have fires. There's smoke in the air, and it's, uh, it's pretty warm. Uh, okay, let me see if I can find myself on my iPad. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. We'll see now if people can find us. We'll try see if we can find the comments. Takes a little bit of time. Let me know if you're watching. Thumbs up. Uh, comment. Just say hi and what what state you live you live in and uh, let us know that you're watching, please. So that would be great. So today I have all kinds of fun things. Good morning, Kathy. Good to see you this morning. We are going to be working out of our annual catalog this morning. Uh, we're working on the Mediterranean Blooms stamp set. It's a beautiful, beautiful set of paper. Some of the prettiest paper in the whole catalog. It's on page 34 and 35. This is what we're gonna be working with today. And, um, but let me remind you that we have bonus days and bonus days are really fun. I always enjoy, I, we've, I don't know, Stamping Up has done this for, I don't know, three or four years. It's fun time. It's almost like celebration in the summertime. You get coupons for every $50 that you spend. And then once you or place an order with me or with yourself, if you're a demonstrator, then you get an email from Stamping Up saying that you've earned a coupon of $5. So, um, and then I usually print them out, or, and I do two things. I save them on my computer, and I print them, so I have sort of double duty, um, and I know what's happening, so I, in case I lose something or the other. Don't forget, we also have online exclusives that have now arrived, and there's some beautiful ones. I worked on these the last couple of weeks. We have a lot more. We have the train one that I did last week. We have iconic um, uh, what's it called? Iconic what? Celebrations, celebrations, and there's some Halloween and just some really fun things. Good morning, Pam, from St. George, Utah. Yeah, so what a gorge. I bet it's hot there. It's hot here, and uh, I think it's hot all over the country. We were up in British Columbia this, over the, we had a long four days, um, up in British Columbia at a fishing resort and uh, with some friends of ours, and then our son Andrew and his son Jack, and oh, they caught some enormous fish. I cannot tell you how big these salmon are. Good morning, Carla from Wisconsin. Good to see you this morning. It's 110 in St. George. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a lot. So anyway, okay, we are going to, we're gonna give it, a, we're gonna start. Um, I have a class this week. It's a, the Mediterranean Blooms, card class. We have five cards that we'll be doing. I'm going to be doing one of the, showing you how to do the cut, stack, and shuffle method today. Hi, Martina. Good to see you. It is a pretty day, isn't it? So one of the cards that we're going to be doing on Thursday in person, you can take the class in person or to go or porch pickup. Um, it's $32 plus shipping. Here, This is a fun fold card, easy fun fold. Here's another fun fold. I did this one a few weeks ago. Um, it's a joy fold that flaps over like that. And then we have um, this pretty um, die cut piece that comes with a good morning, Pat, from Washington. Here's another one. Here's a really easy coloring one, just very simple but very pretty. I know it's all backwards, but... Um, It'll, it'll be fine when I turn the camera down. So, And then we're going to do the cut, stack, and shuffle method today. If you, I still have room for one person in, one person for the in-person class, and I can take as many as three more kits to go. Okay, let's turn our camera down, and we're going to start working. Close your eyes if you get dizzy.
These are some of the cards again. There we go. That's just to help me focus things um, when I start. So those are the five cards. The class um, includes a half a package of this gorgeous Mediterranean Blooms paper. It is exquisite. One side has lemons and oranges, and then the other side has this Mediterranean tile pattern, which you would see all over Greece and Italy. I think one of my most favorite incentive trips with Stamping Up was my trip to Greece. Just loved it. And you see this kind of pattern all over the place. Aren't they pretty? Just really pretty patterns, 12 by 12. And um, then you also get a package of gems like this, the, uh, what are they called? Let's see what's, um, oval rounds, oval rounds assortment. That's what's included in the class. Plus then you get five, um, tutorials that look like this. And this is what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be doing this cut, stack, and shuffle. We're going to get three different looking cards, all with the same paper. So let's start with that right away. And I always encourage you to join my email list. If you haven't done that, thumbs up, all of those things. That's always so helpful. This is my postcode for the month of July. So if you're ordering from me, if your order is less than $150, then, then, then I am the hostess. If your order is $200, $150 or more, then you become the hostess and earn free things. So this is what we're going to be making today. We're going to change up just a little bit. We're going to put some different sentiments on. But um, this is what we're going to start with. These are the two stamps that we're going to be using. The layering leaves. I just love these sentiments. This, this carried over from our um, other catalog. And it has a punch to go with it. has the bow punch. Punches out those really neat leaves. And then the other stamp that we'll use is the citrus blooms with the oranges and lemons. So you've seen me use that before too. And let's see what's here. I'll show you what gave me some inspiration to start to do this again. I've done this many times. In fact, I, I did a video, I don't have the cards, but I did a video a year plus ago, April of 2023, and it was Countryside Inn. And you can go back and, on YouTube and find that. But here are some other cards that have this the stacking and shuffling technique. This one, they're cut sort of different. Here's another one with that same paper. Here's one with the fishing paper from about a year ago, and that's the way we're going to cut it today. But it's so fun and easy. And this is a card using that layering leaves. Really nice, nice set of uh, punches. Okay, so let's start. We're going to I'm going to pick these up. So I was inspired by someone else that did this, and I don't even know who it is to give her credit, but um, I love. it's very, very similar to what she did. So we're going, I guess I didn't write down the sizes here, but I do, don't, don't, don't worry. I have, um, let me see, I'll just do it right now. You need three that are at three and three fourths by five. So I, you need three different designs and then you need a, a solid color for the mat, which is that, and then the basic five and a half by, we need three of those. So on this one, what I have is three different patterns. This one, this one, and this is the one we're going to stamp on. So I am going to cut all three of these at the same time. Okay, and then we're gonna mat them onto the green, the garden green, and put them on the white. Okay, it's going to be quite easy. So now we'll start with, we're gonna start with the cutting. Just move this off to the side for a second. Can't see your, oh, hey, Susan, good to see you. Good to see you, Jean. 
You can't hear me very well. Let me see if I can turn this up a little bit. There we hope Is that better? I think my volume was turned way down. Sorry. Thank you for telling me that. I appreciate that. Okay. I think, I hope, tell me if that's going to be better now that I turn that up. Hey, Sherry, Jackie, good to see you. Um, yes. Oh, good, Jean. Thank you for telling me. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I don't even have a pattern. I don't have a, a, a regular way that I will do this, but I'm going to, I'm going to cut from this side down to here. I've got all three. The most important thing to do is to, to get your papers so they are all completely even. Use your paper trimmer. Our Stamping Up trimmer works beautifully. It cuts through. I'm going to just stack it right there. Then I'm going to turn it. I'm going to stack it that way. Just like this. And that's all the cutting we have to do. Jean, I'm so glad you told me that because otherwise people would not be able to hear very well. Okay, we're going to put it over here. So that was three pieces of designer paper, three and three fourths by five. And very, very simple. Now I'm gonna leave the first stack the way it is. I'm gonna take my second stack and I'm gonna put just the top one underneath like that. And then I'm gonna take my third stack. I'm gonna put one, two underneath. Okay, and so now I'm going to have a card that's going to look like this. I'm gonna take the top one from each one. There's one that we're gonna use. Here's the next one. Hope you can see this okay. i put this one right in the middle. How hot is it where you live? How hot, someone, I. Sit, okay, that's the second one. And then this is going to be our third card, like this. And that's the cut. I love this technique. I've done it many, 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 many times. I think I learned it once originally with five different cuts when I was in Florida. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. Okay, now we're gonna put it all together. And then we're gonna do our we're gonna do our stamping after we get it glued on. I want to keep it nice and straight. You may want to stamp it first, but you do whatever you want. Okay. Now you can obviously I'm gonna just sort of set these aside for now, and then we can just sort of talk while you're watching me put these together. Um. Okay. Let's see. Like. Good. 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 Okay. Now you can do this. Do you see how? On my cards, I have butted them completely together. You can do that, but you can also leave a margin in between if you want to. It doesn't make any difference. You can do it either way. You can sort of see how it goes like this. And you could I could have a little tiny skinny margin, but I think it's easier if you don't. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to just sort of slide these all off to the side like this. And I'm going to take my Tombow green glue and I'm just going to, you know me, I'd rather would be using a seal, but this gives you a little bit more wiggle room. So this is for this technique, I like using this. So I'm going to start, I'm going to leave a little edge around like that. And I'm going to put this one on. It lets, I'm not going to put it down tight. We're just going to leave it like that. Okay, looks pretty good. Pretty decent. Now I can pat it in place. Good. We'll set that one aside. That's the first one. Here's another one. Now I'm going to just sort of slide it off to the side like this. How many of you have made these before? And you can, if you want to take your, and put it on your paper, you can. I'm just doing it the fast way. Because I'm sort of a fast, as you probably guessed, I'm a pretty fast stamper. I like to get a lot done. And um, we don't need too much of a border. There we go. I'll 
tell you what it was. Um, it's I hate we hate to have it get up into the 90s in Montana because the fires get out of hand for sure, and we have fires that are coming, smoke that's coming from from um, California and Oregon, and now there's some in northern Montana. There are some fires too, so we do have we have smoke in the air. It was very nice up in, it was so clear and nice up in uh, British Columbia. Just beautiful. Um, it was hot there too, but it was in the shade. You'd get in the shade and you'd be freezing. I, it was so cold at night because everything we were eating outside almost all the time. I'm going to grab a, excuse my reach here. I'm gonna, my fingers are sticky and I don't like to have sticky fingers. Um, and I, what I like to have on hand is whenever you're using Tombow, Tombow glue, when you, this is really great. You can use hand sanitizer, and that'll take off that stickiness. Just this is a, this one is um, uh, Japanese cherry blossoms or something like that. I really like it. Takes it off better than water. I have a wet wipe next to me too, but um, the hand sanitizer does a little bit better job. So, and you can see. We're going to, after I finish these, we're going to do the navy. We're going, we'll do some with navy blue so you get an idea too. So there is the navy blue. <laughs> There's the green. Garden green and mossy meadow are in these in this pack. So anyway, um, our son Andrew caught a, what's called a tie. That's what the Native Americans called a large, large, the largest fish. And in order to be considered a Thai salmon, it has to be over 30 pounds. And Andrew's fish was 32 pounds. And it was really pretty exciting. I thought it was exciting. It's because it's, it's very rare. There've only been two so far this summer. And he got a belt buckle for an award and all that kind of thing. Um, but if our grandson, Jack, that's been his goal is to get a Thai. And he's the one who loves fishing. So here are three cards. And he's the one who loves fishing, and he got some salmon that are really huge. They throw them back there, catch and release. So there we go. Let's see. I should have brought a big um, stamp block to hold those down. I didn't. But let's bring in our... We're going to do... Uh, what happened to my... Oh, there it is. My thank you is over on the other side of the room. I'm going to have to get it. Thank you for waiting. I moved this thank you over there for a little treat that I was working on. So that's what I was doing with it over there. These are from the um, Layering Leaves. So happy to celebrate you. Best wishes. Sending hugs. That sending hugs is just a great one. Thinking of you, for you, thanks so much, and hello. Just a beautiful set. I was so thrilled that they carried that one over. So let's, um, we'll just uh, stack these up, and then we're going to stamp them. We'll, just, uh, we'll make, with no rhyme or reason for um, what, what goes where. We're going to put this one. We'll start with that one. We'll do um, thank you. Do thank you so much, like that, and then we will do this one. We're going to do sending hugs. Which of these is your favorite sentiment? Isn't that pretty? Sending hugs, and the last one would be thinking of you. A thinking of you could be could be a sympathy card. It could be a um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna put it right there. Thinking of you. Like that. Perfect. And then we're going to add these to the inside. And we're gonna put these not to the inside. We're gonna add these to our base. Our white base. So this is thick white. Now I'm going to use my tape runner. Anyway, we had a wonderful trip. It was great. We flew to Campbell River, British Columbia, 
and then we took a taxi to the seaplane. We then we took a uh, seaplane. If you've ever been in a seaplane, you're over water, and then they land um, in the water. Um, it's it's like a taxi cab, only it's for airplanes, and they have them all over um, British Columbia and Alaska because that's the only. There are so many islands, and that's the only way to get around. So we had sort of a lot of planes, trains, and automobiles. Um, but we, it was not too bad. Not nothing is too long, uh, so that that was good. But it was a, it was a great trip. We had a lot of fun, and we played games at night after dinner. Um, it was fun too. So, okay, there we have it. And there are three cards. Now let me show you something. I did some envelopes already, like this. There's an envelope with with a pretty um, designer paper on it. Now let's put, um, we can put some gems on. This is going to go really fast today, I think. Maybe I'll try, um, let's see, we're going to try, I think on the other one I did the, uh, did I do the white or the, see, is that the white? No, that's sort of the yellow. This is, um, this, this is per, mint, this is the, this is the gem, this is a set of gems that go with this, um, this suite. So we're going to use, um, you also could use this, this set of green, which is part of the transparent adhesive. That's part of the market system, the market, uh, to market. Let me see what's here. I can't get, when they're up in the air, I can't get, get them off. So I'm going to put, we're going to put some of the, um, we'll try to, we'll do some of the clear, I think. We'll do clear and clear. We'll do two there, and we're gonna do one big one. This is sort of a lot of open space. We're gonna make a triangle. There we go. So there's that. And we could um, on this one. We could even do. We could. We'll do. We can. Let's try the yellow on this one. Let's try. Oh, we'll try that. Mm. Like, oops, lost, missed it. I, there we go. And then the third one, I think we're going to go back to clear on this one. One there. And then we're going to put one, one right here and a small one to go right there. And I'm going to, there's sort of a lot of space there. So what I'm going to do is, um, we're gonna stamp a uh, orange blossom. I'm gonna set that aside for right there, and then I'm gonna show you some different possibilities. So let me get some scratch paper in here. Just some, okay, and we're going to stamp. I think I'm going to just stamp the. Uh, I'll just stamp it in green because that's what I have. You could do black if you coloring it. That's probably what I did. We're going to stamp it in green, in the garden green. Stamp it really, really, really well. And there's a die to cut this out. So we... It's a big stamp. There it is. Isn't that pretty? Just a beautiful stamp to color. Very, very nice. And let's see what's here. We Let's do a few leaves so, so you have an idea. We, we have some things to play with. Um, bring these out and I'm gonna get my little uh, piercing mat. How's the volume, ladies? Are you able to hear okay? Is it working fine? Um, okay, so we're gonna have our, our die is going to be like this. So I'm gonna just, so I know I wanna stamp sideways like that. I'm going to stamp a couple of these in green. So we'll just do one. Oops, a daisy little. <gasps> My hands are full of ink, it looks like now. Oh. Okay, we're going to take another sheet of paper and do this leaf. There's There are three different leaves. Isn't that a pretty leaf? Hmm, I like it a lot. Very nice. This is a set 
I would highly recommend, if you do not have this, this is a wonderful set to own. And then you're going to just take your punch and punch it out like that. And you know, the nice thing about stamping up uh, punches, I love how they do that. You can hold it, you can lock it halfway without punching it and it won't fall out. And then you can press all the way down and it'll come out. Okay, let's do these and I think I'll just have to trim that a little closer. Now that we should be able, you can just trim it if you, if it's too near, if it's, mine was too wide. So we'll just get a couple of these going. These are really fast cards. I love this. Did you get a lot? I don't like using the Tombow glue, but um, and you don't have to, but it does work a little bit better just because of the wiggle room. Okay, we have that. And then let's see what we have for um, by the magic of TV. I already have one colored like that. So you can see that, how that looks. And now we can take our card. Let's take that one that I thought had a lot of, a lot of, um... oh, here it is. Yes, this one. I thought that one had a lot of white space on the top for that small sentiment. And you could take this and you could go like that. Isn't that nice? And let's try that. Um, my dim These gems are in the wrong place. I think we're probably gonna just take those off and move them over here more. You can take your piercer underneath it like that. It works pretty well. So that's pretty solid still. Okay, let's put a nice dimensional on this like that from our bowl of foam adhesive strips. There we go. And put a couple of these smaller ones on there. I took some kits along with me uh, and I did not even do them. I did not, we were, we were busy boating. I did not go fishing, but um, just, we were always busy. I don't know what we were doing, but um, we were out in the boat just enjoying time together, and it was fun. Um, the boys all went fishing, so they had a great time. But I usually, when I've been up to British Columbia to this place called Dent Island, I did a lot of walking. Oh my goodness. Got a lot of walking in, for sure. There we go, and isn't that pretty that way? Let's see once now. We could tie, put a bow on there. Got a white bow right there that I'll just tack on with a blue dot. I think this is going to be a very, very short video today. I don't, maybe not. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be just fine. We're going to do a navy one too. So just one. We won't do all three. But isn't that pretty? Thinking of you and um, that we could also put, um, like on this one, we could put, we could put a couple of these leaves like this sort of like that. We'll just move that. I should have waited on these dimensionals. This one might not work. It's not coming off perfectly. Still a lot of adhesive on there, but we'll see. There, we'll try that. Oh, no, we're going to have to put a new one on. That one's going to have to be thrown away. We'll just put these on and um, let me see. Where's my little um, chamois? My, not my chamois, my little, I'd like to have these um, for this little silicone mat. We're gonna just put those on with, because the glue will stick to the, see how it just lifts up and it just um, doesn't stick to your anything else. I'd love that about these. You can just wipe them off. And then I would take another, another twine or something and uh, put that on there. Oh, I have a, here's one. Put a, uh, this would be a crumb cake one. Looks like, well, it might be linen. I don't know if it's crumb cake or linen. We have the variety pack, plus then we have the linen. So there we go. And we'll leave the other one just plain the way it is.
but isn't that a pretty thing? You Or you could stamp these on the inside too, or you could put them on the inside. Um, let's, so sending hugs, this could be a sympathy card. It could be a thinking of you. Let's put a gem on there to make it three. And we're gonna use the big sort of lemon lolly color like that. Okay, so we have this card. We have the thinking of you with the lemon. And then we have just the plain one like that. Which is your favorite of those three? Which do you like the best? Okay, now we're going to, let's see. Which of those are, are your favorites? Now we're going to do a, um, a navy blue one. I'm getting sort of, got, have sort of a lot going on here. This is the one with the leaves. You can say leaves, lemon, or plain. Which is your favorite of those? Okay, I'm gonna pack those up. You could stick, and I'll put those over here. And we're gonna do one more, and we're just gonna do a navy one. So I'm gonna take my pieces out. I already cut this, so I had a big pile. Again, I had the pile of three and three fourths by five. And then I'm gonna do all that cutting. And I already did all that, so I'm not gonna do it again. The navy blue is four by five and a fourth. All of these directions will be, I already have them typed up. I typed them last night when I got home and I had everything all ready for today, but I didn't have it typed. And so I typed it up and then um, I, it, as soon as this video is over with, it takes about three or four minutes and then I'm able to load those onto the site, onto right where you're watching, so it'll be underneath. Or later, if you're watching on YouTube, they're under the, uh, you can um, make your screen smaller and it'll be under more. So I always do that. And then the, the, the total PDF that looks like this comes with the class. So that's all printed out for you. Okay, so we're going to put, remember we have the lemons on this side, but we have the navy on that side. So we're gonna, it's going to be just, we could use either side. I should have done this, if I had done it the other, I could have put, um, not skipping a space, I could have done that. I didn't even think of it until just this moment, but I already had the glue on there. So we're gonna press it down. Okay, we're gonna put it on our card. That's how fast it is. Once you can make a lot of cards. This is a great card to use for a swap because there's so much. Um, you can make so many. Okay, I'm gonna just get my bone folder because that crease is not real strong. There we go, now it is, now it's good. And now we're gonna do a little stamping on there. And I think we're gonna do sending a hug on this one. But sending hugs. I'm just line this up on my glass mat so it's nice and straight. Remember, our glass mat is available now for everyone. Anyone can buy it at $60. And um, we, can put a, we can put a little uh, leaf on the inside. We'll do that. Let's try it without the... We'll just try it like this. Not too bad without the mat. We'll try another one right there. Isn't that pretty? And then you could add a little bow or something right there on, on that too. Okay, let's put some, some gems on this one. This time we're going to use the navy blue, but let me see if I have something in here that I could add. I could add one of my, I have a little package of these, so let's see what I have. Cut out. The dyes do cut out the oranges, so all of the oranges like this are cut out. Um, 
and then there's some leaves that die cut like that, and there's a big couple big frames. So the actual die will fit right on, on here and die cut that. Um, you can also use bits and pieces, like on the inside of your card if you wanted to, like that. You could do that. I don't think I'm going to, but we're, but that's those are all possibilities. So let's put let's put this orange on first, and we're going to put it right there. Put um, one of those on in the middle to keep it nice and so it doesn't get smashed when it goes through the mail. Right before I left last week, I I think I wrote ten birthday cards out and to, and dropped them in the mailbox. Oh my gosh, I was so and I had to use my um, little bit late birthday stamp. It's one of my favorites. It's an old one. Um, it's no longer available, but oh my goodness, I am not very good. I'm not very prompt about my, I'm good about sending birthday cards, but I'm not very prompt about it. So um, I had a whole stack and I'm sure the mailman thought, wow, she has a lot of birthdays. Well, they are the June and July birthdays, the ones that I had forgotten. Okay, we're gonna do that. Isn't that pretty? And now we're going to add a couple of, and that would have, need to have a bow. We're going to put a couple of these down. Oh, I love this navy. We don't always get navy gems, that's for sure. Oh, but just as sharp as can be. Which do you like better? Do you like the green or do you like the navy, the navy blue? Which one? What do you think? Okay, and there we have it. Our cards we made four cards this morning. We did the navy blue one, the green, this one, and this one. So we did all four of these. So there we have it. You like the lemons? The lemon one, Pam? Okay, let's see. Once I'm going to look at the comments. Thank you. Kathy said she said all of them are beautiful, like the leaves. And lemons, leaves, the middle one, Linda Johnson, the middle one, Yolanda. Let's see once. Lynn likes the middle one, Pam likes the middle one, Susan likes them all. Well, good, it's so fun. So, what do you think? Do you like that navy blue? Isn't that Mediterranean look just fabulous? I think the, the green is really refreshing and looks very much like summertime. So, let's turn the camera back. Let's flip the phone over. And there we have it. So, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the thumbs up, the hearts, and please, if you have a chance, share. Sharing really helps me grow my business for sure. And it also helps Stamping Up know, not Stamping Up, Facebook know that things, people are watching and they enjoy watching. So the more you comment, the more Facebook, faster Facebook will show up on your screens. Anyway, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy the video. This is a fabulous set of, of um, cards, I think. So that's one we're going to be doing in our class this week. If you are interested in joining my class, let me know um, if you're interested in, in buying the bundle. The bundle is, uh, it's the most expensive bundle in the whole catalog. It's $62. And that's with the stamps and the dies. But I'm going to show you just a beautiful set. You could even, um, you could just buy the dies also, or you could buy the whole bundle. Let me show you all the dies that come with this set because I have some of them on a, so these are all on a magnet sheet like that. So it cuts out all those oranges, the single and the double. And then there's another whole um, set of page of dies that's like this. So you could cut out the outside frame, which I don't have it, that's over there, but it cuts out that big frame and it cuts out leaves and it cuts out this. It's a huge, huge set, really a nice one. Beautiful set. Probably was my favorite one. Went, oh, there it is. There it is. I thought it was over there. But it's, look at this one. Look at that die. And we've used that. I'm using that in my class too. So um, lots of fun things you can do with this set of stamps. All righty, everyone. Um, 
next week I will hopefully be be back doing this. My sisters and their husbands are going to be here from Wisconsin. So um, they're going to be leaving on Wednesday, but I'll do my video on Tuesday morning as, as we normally do, hopefully. And um, so it'll be hopefully at the same time. I hope you all have a good, safe week ahead and stay cool if you can. Good crafting weather to be inside in the air conditioning, isn't it? Alrighty, thanks everyone. Talk to you soon, bye.